I've heard you say that the first person to live to be 150, you believe, has already been born. Um, I think it's possible. Um, Is you that know, you, David? I, I'm happy, I said that. I'm happy to put some money on it. Right, but as a scientist, nothing is certain in the future, right? There's no proof that that's gonna happen, but I think that there's a good chance that it's gonna happen. Even if there's no breakthroughs, 50% of children born today will make it to 100. That's just mathematics. That's the trend that it's, we've been on as a species. But there are breakthroughs that are coming that are going to radically change in the same way that AI and computer chip and compute power now is going off, you know, off the charts. It's the same with longevity science. I was a band of a few scientists in the 1990s working on aging, and now there's thousands of scientists and billions of dollars being invested. It's, it's really gonna change quickly, and with the advent of AI, we can do experiments in a better, day. Better hurry up, better hurry that, up, it's all time. My, um, I, I could have done my PhD in about three milliseconds with today's technology, I kid you not, it's like that. Hmm. So, the fut so you know, trying to project into the future is always dangerous, right? Uh, it, you can be wrong, all right, I'm happy to be proven wrong. But I think that given the pace of change, that children born today will live well into the 22nd century, who knows what we'll have then. Even 10 years from now, it's hard to know what we'll have. Mm. But I know it's going to be a lot more interesting than what we have now as medicines.